Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, this might look a little different to you guys. And, uh, you know, I just... It's been a really long day today. I didn't even know if I would do a video. But then when I sat down in front of the computer, I thought to myself, I want to do something different. I kind of want to laugh a bit, you know? It's been a shit day. I need to smile and have a good time. So, <laughs> I thought to myself, let's do an ERB. But the thing is, <laughs> I've seen most of them, to be honest. I've actually seen most of them. And I'm not going to react to something that I've seen before with you guys and pretend like I haven't. Like, oh, look at that. That's so good, guys. No. So I was scrolling through them, trying to find one I haven't seen. And <laughs> I'm actually shocked I didn't see this one. Thanos vs. J. Robert Oppenheimer. I'm like legitimately shocked I didn't see this one. That's, it's kind of wild, but uh, I'm actually really looking forward to it. Obviously, a lot of you guys know who Thanos is, and J. Robert Oppenheimer is actually the guy that did the Manhattan Project and was the... Pretty sure he's the guy that's responsible for the nuclear bomb. So... <laughs> This will be interesting. Are they going to drop bombs in this video? I really hope so. Honestly, I'm just really shocked that I haven't seen one of these. And one with a character like Thanos and all that. I'm really surprised. So I'm actually really excited to get into this with you guys. You ready? That's enough talking. Enough blue balling ya. Let's get into it. I'm I'm actually really excited. Let's go. I just hope... It's not too loud over my voice. Okay. Yo, that's good makeup. I am inevitable, immeasurable, inexorable, monstrous. With far the way you harder than your haunting guilty conscious, I am Thanos. And I crush tracks like tesseracts in my palm. Okay. Pencil pushing terror who never learned to love his ball. Seems you started out with chemist and on your world you were a prodigy. Well, that makes sense as the rhymes are only hot periodically. This man just made a chemistry bar. Are we serious? I'm not missing anything, guys. Let's let's go back real quick. I'm not missing anything. I'm just trying to take it all in before I break anything down. Someone read the dictionary. Okay. <clears throat> Guilty conscience, because I heard that he always resented himself for making the... Was it the atom bomb? It might have been the atom bomb or nuclear bomb, one of those. He was a part of the Manhattan Project. It's been a long time since I've been in school, but I heard that he always had a super guilty conscience. Weighing on you harder than your guilty conscience. Okay, bar. Ass like tesseracts in my palm. You're a pencil pushing terror who never learned to love his boss. Yep. Since you started off a chemist and on your world you were a prodigy. Well, that makes sense as the rhymes are only hot. Ooh. I'm wait wait a minute. Let's go back. He's about to go crazy, it looks like, but let's go back. He say I'm often Oppenheimer like I did to my daughter? Like what? Oh. <laughs> wait a minute, what? That was savage. <laughs> No, that was pretty savage. What? Man, I burned the Avengers down to embers. Sent half the planet to be slaughtered. And now I'm off and off and Heimer like I did to my daughter. Got a physical when I'm rapping. Six infinity jumps when I'm packing. Six nuclear dick back into your pants. Dr. Van Hassan had run smashing all your atoms. Slapping with me when I'm rhyming. Cause you break and bleed so easy. I think I'll call you off and Heimer. It's impossible. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um they should call you Oppenheimer, huh? <laughs> Yo, Than why is Thanos going for the low blows? All right, we got to go back. I promise I'll try not to do this too much during the video, guys. 
because you break and bleed so easy. I think I'll call you off and hide. It's impossible to toddy off You just don't have a stone. Apparently, the only thing you're good at wrecking is a hole. Because you slept with your friend's wife right there in your friend's bed. Then got another married girl pregnant. You should have gone for the head. <laughs> Cause the only thing you're good at wrecking is a home. <laughs> you slept with your friend's wife. Or in her bed. Damn, bruh. You should have went for the head. <laughs> okay, that was fire. Thanos had a pretty fire verse. I can't even deny that. Yeah. <laughs> he had a lot of low blows in there, actually. Yo, the Offenheimen one was crazy. Offenheimer, like I did to my daughter. That's he's off in Offenheimer. That's kind of wild. That's a really good one. And his flow is honestly pretty damn good. All right, Offenheimer. Heimer. I always get his name wrong, even in school. You gotta, you gotta come with some heat, my guy, to beat Thanos. Thanos kind of just cooked your ass. He. <laughs> Bro, he took you to the barbecue and you were the main dish. <laughs> you gotta come with some heat, man. You gotta drop some literal bombs. Listening to you took everything I have left. After your reps, I am become deaf. You need an Okay. Iron man. I had a feeling he'd say that. I had a feeling he'd say that in the video. Because that, that is one famous quote I do remember from school. I am become deaf. That's something he said on a, a news program, if I remember right, after the bomb was revealed. And it's like, as you can see, he clearly regrets what he's done. So that's one of the only things I knew about Oppenheimer. That and that he did the Manhattan Project. Okay. I had a feeling that would come at some point in this. Let's go back a little bit. Ooh, Iron Man. But, 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 twist. But, but, here we go now. Where's your rhythm? I thought you were at the time stone. Your punchlines mm. sound like they came from Rhyme Zone. You might be something in the MCU or between us. Who's the worst MCU? Ooh! You talk so slow, Drax thinks you're invisible. I cause chain reactions when I'm lyrical. Because I've got that fizzle material. You were Bro, that was a nasty <laughs> bar. Scary. But your own mother tried to make you a temporary. Meanwhile, I've mastered the atom more than any man alive. You like two and three That's probably a science bar. Okay. when you compare our talents. Because in this battle, there is no balance. I kinda wanna hear his whole verse again real quick, guys. I I, I was talking a little bit over it. That shit was fire, hello? I don't know if it hit as hard as Thanos's did, though. But, yeah, I remember this. You need an Iron Man for that wrinkly ass skin. The, the flips, the entendres. I love it, dude. ERB is great with that, man. That's why I've always loved these. That's why I'm sad that there aren't that many I haven't seen at this point. I'd love to go through all of them with you guys. But I, I, I want it to be authentic. But you need an Iron Man for that wrinkly ass skin. That's a good bar. Wrinkly ass skin and that butt, 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 butt. Here we go now. Where's your rhythm? I thought you were at the time stone. Mm. You might be from Rhyme Zone. You might be something in the MC. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your rhythm? I thought you had the time stone. Your rhymes sound like they came from Rhyme Zone. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if you guys have ever done music before, you've heard of Rhyme Zone. It's where you can literally get any rhyme written out for you guys. That shit was damn. <laughs> that shit was kind of fire. You may be a villain in the MCU. And then, but between us, who's the worst MCU? Ooh! Ooh! Yo, that's just a really good wordplay. He's he's kind of killing Thanos with the wordplay. Thanos is hit harder so far, but his wordplay is crazy. I 
thought you were at the Time Stone. Your punchlines sound like they came from Rhyme Zone. You might be something in the MCU, but between us, who's the worst MCU? Your dialogue's got too many breaks in the syllable. You talk so slow, Drax thinks you're invisible. I cause chain reactions when I'm lyrical. Cause I've got that. And then science material. bars again. You were born to eternal, but came out looking so scary that your own mother tried to make you a temporary. Yikes. While I've mastered the atom more than any man alive, now I'm here to split you like two and three from five. More science bars. I'm a peaceful man. But I do what I must. You had an evil plan, Thanos, and it left you in the dust. It must leave you enraged. All right, he had a good round. Because in this battle, there is no balance. I remember that. Okay. Ooh. The Marvel show Sopper got my name on this bit like it's the Thanos copter. He just got no that was a little whack. Choke you out like my name was throat cancer. I will low key choke you out like my name was throat cancer. If I remember right, I think he and I think Oppenheimer actually dies from throat cancer in a uh, real life. I think he died from that. So okay, that was yeah. This man, this man's talking about the Thanos copter and Fortnite's dopest dancer. That was. That was a weak ass round, bro. That's mega beatable. That was a weak round. Nah, that shit was not good. That was not a good round at all. That shit was weak, Thanos. Let's go back a little bit. That was weak. The f Thanos copter. Get that twax shit out of here. This is a. This ain't no comics. That shit's kind of whack. You want to talk about death? How about the one that looked at you and swiped left? Squirrel girl. Squirrel girl. Now, Tinky Winky, a physicist like Ant Man, all up in your stinky. Yo, who remembers that? When the movie came out, who remembers that meme with Ant Man? Or everyone would say, yo, Ant-Man can beat Thanos at any time. He just goes up his ass and expands. <laughs> they actually referenced that in here. That's pretty funny. I don't know, man. Oppenheimer's kind of killing him. Is He even started it off by saying, you want to talk about death. How about the one that looked at you and swiped left? I, it'd probably help if I go left, but <laughs> like, like I've said in previous videos, guys, I'm not a comic book guy, but I know a little bit, and I know in the original comics with Thanos and all that, because everyone talked about this when the movies came out. I found this out that uh, he's actually in love with Lady Death in the comment or comics, and uh, that's why he's doing everything he's doing. In the movies, he's all about balance. But in the comics, he loves Lady Death. So you want to talk about death? How about the one that looked at you and swiped left? <laughs> yeah. That might be the most savage bar in here. Besides the, you should have gone for the head bar. That shit was crazy. That bar was crazy. And he's talking about a squirrel girl. I don't know anything about a squirrel girl. I assume that's someone in the comments or comics. I keep saying comments. But yo, Thanos, you're getting beat by a squirrel girl? What are you doing, my guy? Now, Tinky Winky, a physicist like Ant Man, all up in your stinky. Anyone believes that Thanos did nothing wrong, crap, has obviously never heard you rap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap indeed. <laughs> Who won? I don't know. Let's go through Thanos' first round again. Because I was talking a bit over. Let's go through it. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to let it play. I got to hear his first round. Because his, his second round was whack, from what I remember. It was not good. That shit was mega, like... Not good. I feel like I could do a better rap than his second round. It's just braggadocious shit. Braggadocious stuff in a battle is like, it's all right. But if you're not really going after the other person, like, you're losing that battle. 
anyone could sit there and just brag, but in a battle, you're supposed to be going against someone, you know? You're not just sitting here flaunting your gains. You're supposed to be tearing down the person in front of you, so... His second round was whack, but let's hear the first one. We'll go through both of their first rounds again, because I remember their second rounds. Oppenheimer absolutely won the second round. It's not even close. But I gotta, I gotta go through the first ones again. I am inevitable, immeasurable, inexorable, monstrous, with bars weighing on you harder than your haunting guilty conscience. I am Thanos, and I crush tracks like tesseracts in my paw. Mm. You're a pencil pushing Terran who never learned to love his ball. Seems you started off a chemist, and on your world you were a prodigy. Well, that makes sense, as the rhymes are only hot periodically. Mm. Man, I burned the Avengers down to embers, sent half their planet to be slaughtered, and now I'm off and off and off. Yes. So my daughter got a physical when I'm rapping. Six infinity gems when I'm packing. Stick your tiny nuclear dick back into your pants, Dr. Man. Smashing all your atoms. Best not collide with me when I'm rhyming. Cause you break and bleed so easy. I think I'll call you. Oh, bro. It's impossible to talk me off. You just don't have the stones. Apparently, the only thing you're good at wrecking is a home. Cause you saw uh, your friend's wife. Bro. Right your friend's bed. Then got another married girl pregnant. You should have gone for the head. To you. Oh, dude, I don't know. That shit was a fire. Fire. Round. Oh, dude, it's tough. Oppenheimer definitely won the second, but I don't know, dude. That's a mega good round from Thanos. We'll go through Oppenheimer's one more time, and then I'll give my verdict on who I think won, but it's kind of close, actually. I gotta remember his bars. Took everything I have left. After your reps, I am become deaf. You need an Iron Man for mm. every pair of skin. Add Good flip. But, 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 Chivico now. Where's your rhythm? I thought you were at the time stone. Your punchline sound like they came from Rhyme Town. You have something in the MCU up between us. Who's the worst MCU? Mm. That hit so hard. You talk so slow, Drax thinks you're invisible. I cause chain reactions when I'm lyrical. Cause I've got that fissile material. You were born to eternal. A lot of science bars. That your own mother tried to make you a temporary. Meanwhile, I've mastered the atom more than any man alive. Now I'm here to split you like two and three from five. I'm a peaceful man, but I do what I must. You had an evil plan, Thanos, and it left you in the dust. Mm. It must leave you enraged when you compare our talents. Because in this battle, there is no battle. Oh, dude, I don't know. This is a really tough one. From how I see it, their first rounds are pretty even. I think they're pretty even. Maybe Thanos edged it out a little bit in the first round. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think he did edge it out a bit. But Oppenheimer was not far behind, dude. And here's the thing with how I see it. I'd argue Oppenheimer was more consistent throughout the whole battle. Because I did not like Thanos' second verse. I thought this shit was not good. What's he say here? For a communist pariah. I think it's you come off as awfully cocky, if I remember right. And then I'll make you, what, bend the knee? This pariah, you come off as awfully cocky. But I'll make you bend the knee and round two like nine mm, and That shit hits. That's a fucking bar, dude. But that's like the only thing he has in this round, though. Everything else I think is whack. So, at the end, I don't know, man. I think, I think it's Oppenheimer. I definitely think Oppenheimer won. I do. I think he won. I think it's really close, but I definitely think Oppenheimer won. Yeah, I'm going with that. Because he's just more consistent throughout the whole thing. Yo, this shit was fire, man. Yeah. How the hell did I not watch this until now? Like, I'm actually shocked I haven't. But, yo, this was fire. You guys let me know in the comments what you thought about it, you know? This is a nice little change of pace. Honestly, I'd love to go through these with you guys. Even if I've seen them again. It's been so long that I don't think I even remember many of the bars and all that so if you guys like this kind of stuff let me know like i could do stuff like this like for instance uh i know my boy kendrick 
Kendrick Lamar, one of my favorite artists, is uh, dropping an album soon. I'm pretty sure it's May, like May 18th or something. This My guy's dropping an album. And I would love to react to the album on the channel, guys. So you guys let me know if you like this kind of stuff. You know, we could absolutely integrate some of this stuff into the channel every once in a while. Like, I think that'd be fun. Be a good change of pace. This was fucking fun. I like this. You know, my secret passion, guys, is actually bars. Funny enough, so. You guys got any recommendations down in the comments? Let me know. I'll definitely check it out, dude, and we'll break down those bars. Because ERB, for as jokey as they are, they got bars. They absolutely have bars. So like I said, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, man, I think that'll be it for today's video. It was a fun one. It was a pretty fun one, actually. You know, I needed to smile. It's been a really bad day, and I'm, I'm glad I did this. I almost didn't, but I'm glad I made this video. So yeah, until next time, guys. Uh, hold on. Let me like... And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, week, month, and year. And uh, yeah, just deuces. Have a blessed day. Let me know in the comments if you want more.